During your van build project, you're going to have to do some electrical wiring. Now, in my previous life, I taught electronics for over 30 years. So, this part is really enjoyable for me. But, for some reason, it causes a lot of stress for a lot of people. I'm not going to tell you everything there is to know, but I'm going to tell you what you need to know when wiring your van. First off, electrical wiring comes in multiple gauges. This is 10 gauge, 8 gauge, 6 gauge, 2 aught. You'll notice as the numbers get smaller, the size of the wire gets larger. Having the right gauge wire for your application is extremely important. If you do it wrong, it could create an unsafe condition, possibly destroy equipment, or even create a fire. Now in electronics, there are a few major things you need to understand, or at least understand the terms. First off, there's a thing called voltage and a thing called current. Voltage is the electrical pressure that pushes the current through the wire. The current is what's going to heat the wire up. And if the wire is too small and too much current is being pushed through it with voltage, it will actually melt the wire and melt the insulation off the wire and cause a big problem. So you protect yourself with fuses and circuit breakers and I'll cover those in another video. First we're going to talk about the wire. The smaller the gauge the wire the less current it can handle. I've labeled each one of these with the current handling capacity of the wire over a 10 foot distance with 10 percent voltage loss. That's important. If you're going to exceed 30 amps, you need to move up to a thicker wire, an 8 gauge wire. If you're going to exceed 40 amps, you need to move up to a 6 gauge wire, and so on. I'll link a chart that lists the current rating for each gauge of wire in the description. The 10 gauge wire is actually not going to be used. The only 10 gauge wire used in the system is going to be from the solar panel, which is a different type of wire. It has different insulation requirements, and we'll get to that towards the end. Instead of buying 10 gauge wire, use 8 gauge wire in its place. Remember, you can always use larger diameter wire in place of smaller diameter wire. The 8 gauge wire, this thickness, is the largest diameter gauge that will fit in our solar charge controller. So that's where we start using the 8 gauge wire. The 6 gauge wire is used from our bus bar to our 12 volt fuse panel. The 2 watt wire goes from our inverter to our batteries and our cutoff switch. So these three sizes of wire are going to be used at your electrical panel and to get the electrical to your inverter from your batteries. This 12-2 gauge wire, which means two conductors of 12 gauge each in the same wire, is a marine grade wire from Angkor. It's a high quality wire that you can use for all of the 12 volt applications in your van. Anytime you're buying wire for your van, look for marine grade because marine grade wire and components have to endure a lot of water and a lot of vibration and you're going to have moisture from humidity in your van and when that van's driving down the road it's like a little earthquake. One of the specialty wires is this solar wire. Made by Temco this is a 10 gauge wire that will go up to your solar panels. This is very special stuff. 
the insulation on this wire is UV rated which means the Sun won't deteriorate this wire while it's sitting on top of your van it's very important that you use solar grade wire if you could reach out and touch this you would be able to feel that that insulation is very tough it is not pliable very different from this 10 gauge wire here which is soft and pliable this will deteriorate in the Sun the insulation would crack and it would start falling apart so it's critical that when you run wires from your solar panels into your van you use UV rated solar wire when shopping for wire for your van project wire gauge is not the only thing you should look for you should also look for a high strand count for example this six gauge wire has over 2600 individual very thin strands making up the six gauge wire that makes it very flexible and easy to route where you're going to want in the van this Temco welding cable is very flexible for its size that's because it is made up of over 1100 strands to make up its 4 aught size so far I've covered the wire gauges that you're going to need for your 12 volt system and for the wiring on your main electrical panel from the solar charge controller to your inverter and from your solar charge controller to your 12 volt fuse box. Now we're going to talk a little bit about what you're going to use for the AC part of your van build. You're going to need wire to go from your inverter to your AC outlets throughout the van. You could buy separate heavy gauge wire to do that or do what I've chosen to do and use an extension cord. Not any extension cord. This extension cord is a heavy duty 12 gauge extension cord. All right, you need to make sure you get a 12-3 extension cord. 12 gauge, which is the thickness of wire that you're going to use for your 12 volt, but in this case, it's going to have three conductors inside the cable. So, this is the heavy extension cord. If you could feel the weight of this, it's not the normal extension cord you probably have in your garage. It's pretty heavy duty and it costs a lot more. I wouldn't be buying or spending the money for this extension cord unless I was using heavy duty equipment on the job site or building a van. All the extension cords I have in my garage are much lighter weight. They're not 12 gauge, they're 16 or 14 gauge. So let's open this up and we'll take a look at the conductors inside. Yeah, this is hard to do ruining a brand new extension cord, but here it goes. All right, so let's slice this open. see those conductors inside so this insulation will protect the wires as you pull them through the metal body of your van you're gonna have this heavy insulation to keep from cutting through to these wires and then each one of these wires is I should use the right tool. These are proper wire cutters here, or wire strippers. Alright, it's a heavy duty wire on each one of these. And you'll be able to use this for all of your electrical wiring that is going to your outlets. This is rated at 15 amps for a hundred feet of length. You're probably only going to go maximum of about 20 feet in your van. So you'll easily be able to carry a 20 amp load, which off of your outlets probably won't occur. You might have a momentary 20 amp load if you're running your hot water heater 
or an air conditioner or some heavy device like that but charging your laptop and plugging in normal appliances like a blender won't have a sudden surge more than 15 amps and this wire like I said is rated at 15 amps at a hundred foot length you can look in the charts below that I'll link down below to take a look at the amp rating for the gauge of wire to be sure you're meeting the requirements also remember you're going to protect this wire with a fuse or circuit breaker every place in your van so if it does go over the rated current rating that fuse will blow or the breaker will trip before it causes your wire to heat up so that's what I'm doing you might decide to do something a little bit different um, highly recommend that you don't go with a uh, thinner wire a different gauge wire stay with your uh, 12 gauge or 10 gauge wire let me tell you that 10 gauge is pretty expensive and you should be safe and happy and have high reliability in your electrical system. That's all for the introduction to wire sizes and the wire that you'll need for your conversion van. If you've made it this far in the video, please hit the like button and subscribe because you must have a van build in your future if not already in progress. In a future video, I'll talk about fuses and circuit breakers to protect the electrical in your van. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care and see you on the next video.